natural gems in Buffalo is known as the Richardson Complex. If you're not sure where it is, take a look at the map. We're going to zero in. It's just along the 198, not far from Buff State. And again, it's been there for a while. It's about to get a facelift. We sent Rachel Elzafon out there this morning. She's going to show us the changes on the way. Yeah, Andy, and one of the things that's really improved in the last few years is the grounds in front of the Richardson Olmstead Complex. Joining me to talk about that is Monica Pellegrino Fakes, and it's just gorgeous looking around, even at this time of the morning. Um, what, what is there to see here? Well, we're so excited people can come and see our five acre renovated South Lawn landscape. If you were standing here three years ago, you would have been in a uh, 150 car parking lot, and we turned the tables and made it a beautiful landscape for people to come and enjoy. We see people coming here every day, throwing the frisbee, having a picnic, and uh, we're really glad people are coming to enjoy the grounds and also seeing the building renovations taking place. Yeah, that is one of the really neat things that you were saying is that this, which I remember from college was a parking lot, and now you come here and there are people that ha like to come here, increasing popularity. What are the, I, I guess, some of the things that people can look at here on the grounds? We have all native plantings. Um, we have two rain gardens that are great for stormwater drainage. Um, this is all an environmentally friendly design and uh, construction of the grounds. Um, people can see the, the buildings as well as enjoy being in a quiet place in the city. Thank you so much, Monica. Just an absolutely gorgeous site. And like she said, there are some major renovations going on behind us that you can actually watch really unfold from here. We'll have more on that coming up in the next hour. It's a huge historical process here in the Queen City. Live in Buffalo, Rachel Elzefan 7 Eyewitness News. Andy.